Oh. Only 10 city damage. All right. And no injuries, even though I'm pretty sure I ran over a guy. But maybe that was last one. You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! <laughs> Final inspection before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. Yeah, on purpose checked his. Why does his ear look extra long? Is that just me? Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection! It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso! This carbine, the four is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to you do, You do Sergeant. not argue. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty canceled. Uh, Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. What? Huh. <laughs> that takes some guts, man. Ah! <laughs> oh, shit. Well, we saw the crime. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run I smell. At Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Sheep. We got a patrolman it's on site. The coroner's on his sheep. way. Get down there. See if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Ray's Cafe. Can we grab a bite to eat on the way? Can I solve the case with a milkshake in one hand and then a milkshake in the other hand? <laughs> You know the way. You can drive. Yeah, you got it. You got it. There you are. Detectives, over here. <laughs> Sorry, I thought it was funny if I just walked oh, away. Traffic. What yeah. do we got? I'm not a man of confrontation. There's a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above with the bar. With weird-ass animations? Harry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're gonna take a look around. All right. What she got, buddy? Can I talk to you? This hat. Yep, as I expected. It's a hat. Landed on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. Are you alive? No, it's a shame. I look like a nice young fellow. Was there any guy back then in these times that had like not short hair? Patterson has a 
life insurance. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Still has money. Take the money. <laughs> Don't take the money. We can notify next of kin. Fair enough. Just in case of being drafted and all. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest pain? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Mm. Mm. Careful where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Body travels a good 20 feet. That's pretty <laughs> that's pretty good. Did it scrape the whole way through? Or maybe it got on a tire or something? No, he got hit from here. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. He got hit here and then landed there and scraped against the ground. The driver managed to brake before the impact. Well, obviously, that didn't help much. He's all yours, detective. But we saw it. Miss Perry? Yes? Not really too much I'm to detective investigate Phelps. if we saw it. Yeah. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well... I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Argument? <sighs> okay. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Huh? Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. That's not a letter. <laughs> there was on oh, the first three letters. There was one letter. <laughs> that was one letter. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well. There were two voices, a man and a woman. That's all. She's looking up. Mm -mm. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate thing. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you. Hey, we got one. We got a fall. We got a perfect. All right. You think the actress would be better at telling a lie, huh? <laughs> no wonder you haven't made it big yet. Fucking suck. Thanks for the truth, son. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll Patreon? You work the rest of the bush. Work the bartender? Hello. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna Mrs. Patterson home. Okay. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Mm. 
No, you should have heard the argument, no? So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. Mm -hmm. It was pretty ugly. Well, that's fucked up, isn't it? Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. I like how his eye kind of twitchy. I believe that. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. Mm -hmm. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? No, I be I'm, that line that lines up. I believe it. That's her and Lauren. Miss, wait. Hold on. What'd you say? No, I believe you. What was it about? Who knows? The slightest thing could set those two off. I Thanks for your help. Damn it. You sign a Damn it. That was probably to doubt. No problem. He just looks so confident, man. He he looks so happy about himself. Watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of a love tap. Courtney. Come in. Have a seat. Another version of this guy? How are you finding working at the clinic? Sounds fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest, Mr. Johnson? I would hope so, Court. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Why is he so quiet? Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned in sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. Part of being a physician, Corey, is learning to be patient. Does he have a drug addict? How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Corey. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Weed. That would really be what weed is, huh? <laughs> Ooh, look at this angel man! Here's oh. the blue puppy. Thank you. From what we know, it was an argument between a man and a wife that started in the bar and then was told to go outside and outside it happened got hit by a car that has been written down what type of car it is and that is our status what we wouldn't have to go there we're just trying to get the man that hit the yeah we don't have to go there i don't see why we would need to go there he doesn't even seem like he was part of like at least from the flash forward, he wasn't part of any of the conversations, so having info on that shit doesn't matter. Just go straight to the cause. 
His hat's clipping through. The life insurance, maybe? Maybe, but... I don't know. Well, it seems like someone's trying to leave already. There's the dent and the blood right there. Son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Well, all right. You know what? Maybe if I didn't get the info from that lady by getting the answers right, then I would have probably had to go to the other residence. That's probably what that means. But I got it right, bitch. I got five out of six. Bop it. Oh man. Usually that always works. Shaw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't see that. I wonder if he killed someone driving like this. Get away! Let that asshole get away. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Where are you turning? Ah! <laughs> Fuck, dude. I want to give you a nice left hook. Watch this, watch this. Bah! Probably killed so many people doing that, but... You know. Get out of the car. Put your hands where I can see them. That was a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. The procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. Okay, he makes a he makes a very good point. The people that were next to him could have helped him, but they didn't. Probably because they were gonna get money out of this specifically the wife that makes sense knock 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 helloing yes hello this is Patterson is this about my husband we're investigating the incident ma'am well, that's a bad sign see Come in, won't you? She seems very not bothered at all. We wanted to give you the facts about the accident, ma'am. I appreciate that, but I think I know most of them already, Detective. He was hit by a car, now he's dead. What more is there to tell? Pardon me, but you don't appear to be too upset about it. Yeah. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick together this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, and Thank I... You. Uh. You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. <laughs> there he is. Leroy Sabo. There he is. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? 
You can confirm this is Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. <laughs> you were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Don't I'll believe it for a Something second. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. You married? The arguments are never any different. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. The poor guy had no chance. Scum! We're leaving, Lorna. You're we'll a scum! That up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. You Come are on, scum. Come. Let's make ourselves scarce. You are scum. Could you take the turn any slower? <laughs> Come on! We live in the L of A in America. Everybody's got somewhere to fucking go. Oh shit! What hat is that? Is it a frying pan? You're the one who's been sending cosmic rays into my room. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not gonna control my thoughts anymore. Calm down, sir. You like that, wouldn't you? It's gonna run. <laughs> I like how they made the bat bounce. Thank you. Put your hands in the air. God, this guy's fucking fast, dude. Get him, get him. Fucking come here. Come here. Someone has to stop the Venusian. He's wearing socks with sandals. Oh. <laughs> so that <th> <laughs> He just ragdolled. That was awesome. I lost my fucking hat. Give me your hat now. I need your hat. Farewell, cruel world. Oh. Oh. Now I feel bad for that kid. Good thing he's not in jail. I'm pretty sure he's not in jail. He's just in interrogation right now. But. You drive. Uh, where are we going? But fuck. No wonder Race Cafe was never crossed out. Be honest, I thought they were involved, but I didn't think they would have caused it, you know? There it is. Cleaver. Explains way out of this. Is it made by Staples? Is that all we needed? Hey, buddy. Oh, he's right here. You're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. Oh shit! Go! I'll bring the car. Oh fuck! 
This guy was ready. It's too late, Sabo. Come here, motherfucker. You ain't seen shit yet. You know, for someone with a shotgun, he's running pretty far. I shot him in the ass. <laughs> shot him right in the tushy. Oh, funny stairs. Oh, we love the funny stairs. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, he's still running. Get out of the Thank you. You motherfucker. Alright. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson. I've 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 done a shout out like four times on the side missions, but that that time was my first time. <laughs> so I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. What about the other guy? The good work. Compliment him too. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. He's getting nothing. I think we got time for like one more. Hey, I have a Twitch. Come check it out for more VODs like this. Rawr!